Have you ever dreamed of a new generation of cookies? I mean something different, unexpected. Lately, I heard that a cookie it's a cookie. Really? A cookie it's like any cake. It can be a boring experience full of sugar or something you will remember. Let's take a bite. Mm. 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 Now. Mm. For the cookie dough, I am going to cream butter and salt first, then add my uh, brown and white sugar, almond paste chunks, fat based food coloring, and you want to smooth that out. Next, I am going to drop one egg, half of the flour and baking soda blend, and add the remaining flour and egg. Look at that cookie dough, Papa. It's so beautiful. Well, indeed, it looks like raspberry ice cream. Well, speaking of which, let's scoop that out into two ounce portions and chill. Next, I'm gonna make some caramelized almonds. A l'ancienne, old fashioned. Remember the procedure? We did it many times before. Very simple, don't panic. Cook sugar and water for five minutes. Throw in your toasted almonds and stir on high heat. The syrup will then begin to crystallize, coating each nut then continue until caramelization. Gorgeous. Let cool and crush. Next in the agenda, I'm gonna coat each cookie with these beautiful caramelized crushed almonds. Caramelized nuts, like we did uh, earlier with uh, different recipes. Um, it does improve the texture. Refrigerate these beauties for up to seven days or freeze. Next, post Meyer lemons. They are in season right now. I made those for my lemon-shaped dessert. Remember? So versatile and unbelievably delicious. Yet, and as much as I love Mickey Mouse and Minnie, you won't find this type of cookies neither in Disneyland nor Walmart. But hey, if you want something good, you're gonna have to earn it. So, for the poached Meyer lemons, you want to blanch your lemon wedges first three times and poach them in syrup for about five hours on very, very low simmer. It should not boil, actually. Keep them in jar, refrigerated forever. This is a delicacy right there. It's so good. So, for my raspberry lemon basil cookies, you want to chop your lemon wedges roughly and set aside. Next, I'm going to pre-bake my cookies for about 10 minutes. Then immediately stuff them with raspberry jam. Top with uh, poached Meyer lemons and bake for an additional 10 minutes. Add more jam and garnish with some frozen dried raspberries and herbs crystal basil. You probably have not heard about this product. It's amazing. And for a light touch of saltiness, sprinkle some minced lemon confit. To know everything about this recipe and the ingredients, go to brunoskitchen.net. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. I hope you liked it. See you next time.